In this video we'll cover K-Cycles 4.0 update up to 2x performance improvements with final render settings, a new powerful light mixing with new outliner view and filtering, light mixing with collections or individual lights with control for visibility, solo, selections, exposure, color and white balance, now light group mixings with real-time presets, light group mixing line view, finally the light and shadow linking improved with ease of use, accuracy and control. Here is the latest performance chart comparing K-Cycles 4.0 to the same Cycles build for Blender 4.0, test done with a default Cycles final rendy settings of noise threshold of 0.01 and samples of 4096 without denoiser with the RTX 4090. Notice almost 2x faster K-Cycles in a few of the demo scenes even though Blender Vanilla Pro actually is about 10% slower in this release with the NVIDIA graphics due to some shader and other core changes. K-Cycles 4 continues to improve performance. Let's do a simple scene from the benchmarks, the demo BMW scene, an output of 200% or 4K. The K-Cycles improved performance in this 4.0 update compared to Vanilla Blender 4.0 fastest possible time for K-Cycles, which is be fast mode, GPU boost to max, the settings to final, 0 0.01 threshold, 40.96. And let's hit render. And here's the render finish with 24 seconds, 0.17. Here's the same BMW demo scene. You can see I'm using Blender 4.01 version. The same output at 200%. Final render settings without the noiser. 0.01, 1496. And let's hit render. The Blender Vanilla 4.0 just finished with a time of 45 seconds. 0.26. Let's zoom out a bit and we can compare the images. We basically have, if you look at up there, 45, 24, the same image quality visually. Okay, cycle with 2417, and here is the Blender Vanilla at 45, 26. In this example, K cycles is almost twice as fast as Vanilla Blender. Check my performance chart. The different scenes and the, and the different performance variations on the 4090. The ultra lighting likes mix new UI in light mode. Notice all the powerful options of this new light mixing with the Olarni view and filtering. Light mix is the place to start when the lights are being composed into your scene. The initial light settings to get an overview of, of your lighting. Changes in the light mixing will cause a cycle to render, but nowadays with the faster GPUs, it's becoming less of an issue. When loading a new scene into K-Cycles and you want to start working with a light mix, go to Ultra Lighting and select Light Mix. You'll see a warning saying that the light list is empty. Please click button to refresh. Click the button and it loads and refreshes all your light scenes. This is only done once on a new scene or when new mesh lights are added. I have a loaded a basic interior scene and we'll go and check the ultra lighting and light mix. And this is two modes. We have light mix in lights mode and in light group. When we use light groups. Right now there's no light groups, it'll be empty. The refresh lights can have another option which is the shift to reset the lights, the collection values. If you have different settings, the exposure changes, shift, refresh light, it'll reset all your settings. So it's a way to reset all your initial settings, for your collections. So now let's look at the other options. We have solo mode, basically solo's light collection or the individual lights or the background from the world. So I noticed each item has the mesh 
triangle for a mesh light. This is normal lights in the world. So you can view the top level of your collection or your individual items, light items. Collapse or expand the view of the lights. This button will collapse into all, into only collections. You click again, it toggles back out there. Or you can hit the, the shift and it opens up always. Or control to close it. And if you're in solo mode, then it becomes more compact your list. And you can still view it in this mode. The next option is add a light. You first select a collection where you want to add that light. I want to add it to my light interior. Select that collection. Add like an area light. Notice we just added one. Go into solo mode. Select the light. Now we place it and move it to wherever we want to add that area light. And it's that easy. And the last option on the toolbar is filtering. Filter all the different options. We have collections, but only mesh lights. We can enable them again. We disable lights, also mesh light, and just have the world lights. The lights without the collections are just the lights only without us collection subgrouping. We go back to the beginning. So everything is very quick, interactive on your list. Show and hide collection lights or individual lights. We can hide the whole interior. See all the light bulb lighting was off. We can turn it back on or in the table. Only the lights are related to the table. The difference between the show hide that you do in the mix light mix is because it's only related to lights. If you when it did the same thing here in the table collection, it will move the whole table and, and it will it'll do everything, objects and lights, where in the light mix, it'll be only related to the lights in that collection. Selection, which is works similar to the outliner. You can select one, shift or control to select multiple items, toggle the back out. You can also select collections. Now double click allows you to rename. Let's change this to background sound with double click. So let's look at now uh, the collections individual adjustments. It's better to go in solo mode in this case, stereo lighting. This will affect all the lights within that collection. And we can also go by steps, half steps, quarter steps. Or we can enter just a number, 0.3. Zero automatically values of all the lights in that collection get adjusted. It works well even in mixed settings where you have mesh lights and regular lights. We can select this one and then we have the, sp the spotlight in the mesh light there and all of them get increase or decrease. Change the color of the lighting so we can go back and adjust, give it a color and all the lights get that setting. You can also back then reset them. So it's very easy, intuitive to adjust all your exposure settings individually or by collection light. The same settings apply to the actual light items, not based on exposure, but this is just the actual energy level. The steps, these are exposure steps, so these ones do increase half steps or quarter steps with a shift. The last one is delete in the collection or individual lights. See, I want to remove all the lights that I have on my table collection. Click delete, basically gone. Let's undo that. Remove the individual spotlights. The ultra lighting UI in light group mode. Once you're happy with the lights scene set up and the light mixing, you can use Lightroom for real time adjustments, explore different lighting scenarios and save them with the new presets, all of it in real time, making it fun, fast and easy in the viewport or after rendering in the compositor. Be covering new features, including the new light group mixer. Please check my older videos for previous features of ultra lighting, light groups and light and shadow linking. Select light mix, light group mode. Right now it's empty because we have no light groups. Add all collections to it. 
this like group should match the same thing as the light makes. Let's go and expand. You see, we'll have the basically light assembly, exterior, table, the world, light mix setup got clean to the light groups. Let's switch back to light group mode. And this shows the actual lights belonging to the light group. The most important toggle is the composite all groups. This composites all your different light groups into your scene and allows you to view all the different modes and features within the light groups. And make sure to have your light mix have all the lights visible and not to be in solo mode in the lights in the lights mix mode. So make sure it's, this is solo is not on and all your lights are visible. So here we have really similar settings as with the light mix. We have the solo mode, but as you notice here, it's definitely got a bit faster because there is no re-rendering. Instantly, you can view all your light groups. The same settings we have here for, for the power, the exposure, we can go steps also. We can adjust color tinting. We can adjust also white balance. Done all in, in real time, toggle the shadow, cast shadow for the whole light group, enable this toggle. Shadows are gone, we put them back on. But this one do cause re-rendering. Light and shadow linking is fully integrated with the light groups to give you more light control on your scene. Check also my previous video on light and shadow linking for detailed information and usage. Let's look at a quick example. Let's zoom into the table. Solo mode the table light group. Here we have some spotlights onto the table items. The light onto the wall can be quite distracting and I just want to control the lighting only into the objects only and to the table only, not into the wall. Light and shadow linking will be perfect. Select light and shadow linking. Enable also shadow linking. That causes a re-render and there is per light group. So if we switch to another light group, that's not enabled as the items that we want to receive light from the table light collection. Select table here, when the lights on the table with the plus sign here. So add the books and shift select or control so we can have two collections selected. Add them also, those three collections. The lighting on the table it only affecting the table objects, the books and the glass and the lighting direct lighting on the wall is gone we can also look at some of the options cast shadows look at the book look at this table shelf select the books and the shadows there's no shadows on the, the book exactly on the shelf here enable back the shadows for the table and keep it off the book so Disable receiving light. So let's say we don't want lights to be on the glass. I click on this light bulb. If you notice, there's still light. There's only indirect light, not direct lighting. So the direct lighting, check it again. You see now we have direct light on the glass. With this disabling the receiving lights, we'll won't receive direct lighting and so it's a lot the glass is a lot darker but it's still there's some light on the glass because there's bounce light so bounce light from the table into the glass is not eliminated light and shadow link does not remove the bouncing of the light and you can quickly see that that if i remove the table from receiving light the glass will be completely dark because there's no more bouncing from the table into the glass. So now the only the book is receiving light. You really have a lot of control over what's lighted, what has shadow. You have a lot of control for many types of scenarios where you couldn't be puzzled previously. Put everything back. Let's get out of solo mode. You'll see now that we don't have any more the direct light from the table spotlights into the wall. So it looks a lot cleaner and less distracting. So new for this 4.0 release is presets. 
the obvious that default it also can be used to reset let's say we have all these settings we can always quickly default the lighting and it zeroes out all the values back to the default let's quickly create three type of scenarios that we want to use for this scene we want to have a daylight scene first go to solo mode and start increasing the lighting and probably decrease some of the interior we may want to give a little bit of a exterior light white balance small amount so we have a very bright scene quickly done go and create daylight preset the plus now let's do a default again reset create a sunset scene we want to do solo mode again probably do a lot of more white balance into into a sunset decrease maybe some of the intensity and increase some of the interior lighting and let's increase some of the world lights do some white balance on this one and let's see how it's starting to look yeah it's time to look at more sunset once i've saved all my presets my sunset my night my daylight i can quickly instantly interactively change them sunset night daylight all without re-rendering and we can keep adding variations delete change all in real time remember presets are only for this specific set of light groups different scenes are going to have their own presets with their own different light groups so let's say we're happy with this result and we want to do the final polish post effects is great for that everything in real time and fully integrated with your light groups select post effects to do some bloom increase the power so we get a nice bloom on the light bulbs but i don't want them outside on the doors mask that out by selecting just one light bulb the two light bulbs here we add them to the mask by the way you notice that door bloom is gone Let's add some tone mapping maybe tweak contrast on the exposure some white balance let's do some lens effect some vignette and let's do a final render final render is done you can see it matches the viewport exactly so this key cycles for is a great update with performance improvements light and light groups mixing light and shadow linking with many other fixes and improvements and thanks for listening